guys welcome back to my channel mrs ashley shante here and today i'm going to be doing an influencer box review for you guys but specifically i will be doing the makeup forever new lipstick collection entitled rouge so let's do this unboxing Okay, so the box came like this. It was very, very nice packaging. I love the like, blackout effect, and it just has um, a Makeup Forever sticker on it, and it says Professional Paris, and then it also says Influencer on the back, of course. So now let's open up the box. It's just tape right here, and pull that tape off, and we open it up. And inside, you see the box. It has um the logo of makeup forever and also there is a sticker again attaching um the tissue paper we have this black tissue paper and then when we open up the tissue paper uh, let's see there's another red tissue paper on the inside and let's open that up and inside um i have this postcard right here and it just says introducing artist rouge collection show-stopping color in this creamy comfort spectacular long wear okay long wear guys um so and then it just has influencer and the apps that you can get um and so now let's see they have 45 shades and they have two different finishes um 31 of the shades come in the uh, creams and 14 come in velvety mattes okay so this is just like a picture of I guess the shades that they have for it okay it sounds exciting guys so I have um, these three samples and of course you guys know that I got these samples for trial purposes only so I'm just going to give my honest opinion about them and we're gonna go from there so um, the first one that I have is C600 and I have M401 and then I have the C211. Now the C211 and the C600, they are both the cream lipsticks, okay? And then um, the M401 is a matte and it just says it right on the top. Um, something that... Um, I noticed was they don't have um, like the name, a name for the color. It's just indicated by numbers. So yeah, it's not like, oh, give me Bootylicious. You know, it's, it's by a number. So um, let's see what we have here. Okay, so take in mind, I've never seen these colors before. I don't know what to expect. So this is the matte color. This is going to be in four... M401. So it's a very, I love the case that it's in, the, the tube that it's in. It's very sturdy. And you can tell that it's a great product already because of just the way that the tube is made. Okay, let's open this up. Okay, look at that. That's a really nice color. Um, something that they pride themselves on, I guess, for this collection is it being able to go with any skin tone. If I remember correctly uh, it says a bold new collection of highly pigmented and expertly curated lipsticks for every skin tone and personality so we're going to put this to the test and see if it really fits every skin tone and personality for myself so this first one take them out i didn't get to choose the colors that um were selected for me they just sent them so um this is like i said uh which one is this this is m4 Oh, one. So let's try this. Okay. Well, when putting it on, it, it went on very, very smooth. I enjoyed that. It wasn't like the, oh, I can't, you know, for, for a matte. It went on like extremely smooth because I have some mats that it's like it's like plowing dirt off your lips, you know. So um, let me do a zoom up for this color, guys. Okay, so this is the M four O one, and this is a matte color. Okay, um, I I really enjoy it actually. I. For a red, I feel like I could rock this, you know? I feel like it does 
go with my skin color and I mean it complements it well it's not too red it's not too you know dramatic but it, it's just right almost so I really enjoy this color okay let's move on to the next one okay guys you ready for the next color let's get right to it the next one that we're gonna do is the C600 okay C600 like I said before opening this I don't know what these colors look like so we're going to find out together so C600 once again, I love these tubes. Nice and durable and just cute, okay? Um, you can tell the the strongness, the weight on it. It's really nice, okay? All right. This color, guys. That They said that this will be for all skin tone. Did, what, let me read verbatim. It says... For every skin tone and personality. Okay, so let's see. Like I said, I haven't tried, never tried this before, but this looks like a white lipstick to me. I've never worn a white lipstick before. Um, I'm trying to think back to my acting days. I don't think I wore white lipstick then, but um, let's see what we get. Okay, so let's take a second here. I don't know who made the boxes, but this color is, mm -mm. this color isn't for me. Mm, not at all. I look like, I don't even, I don't even know who I look like. I just, if you, if you like this color on me, please comment below because maybe I'm wrong, you know, or but I just don't think this is it. This isn't for me. This isn't for my skin tone. This isn't for my color. I just don't see it happening. The, the white, the white right here. And the thing is, I love the first one so much. I was expecting like, okay, maybe this is like, like a soft color, you know, but no, not, mm -mm. but see, this is the thing. I did love the way that the lipstick was applied. It applied very nicely and um, if it was a different color, I think it would be banging, but for me, this isn't, this isn't going to work at all. But as far as product wise, I think it's a good, I think it's a good product. I just don't think this is the right color for me. And when you say every, every, you know, person can wear the lipstick, it should be every person can wear the lipstick. Would you wear this lipstick like this? Okay. So, but. What I'm thinking now is maybe if I did like use this as like something like um, to fill in, like to add something in the middle. Like for instance, if I was doing like a dark liner or something or a darker color and I just wanted to like put a little dot in the middle and you know, something because I can't let this go to waste, you know. So I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I use it as eyeshadow. I don't know because it's such a good product like the product is good the color is just not good for me so um i'm i'm gonna stop talking about that now so we're gonna go on to the next one okay guys we're on the last lipstick as we know that last one was a daisy so um daisy i mean a doozy a doozy so the last color that we have is another cream lipstick which i said even for the white one that was not the color for my for my skin tone although we're saying that these colors can go with any anybody, you know, not that white. So the next one is C211, okay? C211, and this is a cream. So let's see what we get here. This tube that I love, of course. Okay, so this almost looks like a brownish um pinkish color on the camera it looks a little brighter than what it looks like in front of me so um let's just try it mm. 
what's funny is the other color, the white, I didn't even have to zoom up on. That was crazy. You could really see it. Okay. So, once again, I love how this lipstick it just glides on. Whether it's matte or whether, whether it's a um, cream, a cream lipstick. They all just glide on really, really nicely. Like, I probably will go buy another one of the some more of the matte colors because for a matte like i said they just they just glide so nicely so this is um that last color which is c211 i'm gonna zoom in i love this color guys and it it feels ooh, i like this picture too but like I'm saying, um, I love that color. I like this color a lot. It's like on my lips, it comes out as like a pink, but it's not an overpowering pink. It's, it's one of those pinks that I could wear to work every day. Like it's not too bright, even though you know me, I wear bright if I want to because it looks cute anyway. But this, this will do really well, like with an everyday, like for real look. And like I said, I just love the way all of, um, all these lipsticks um like i think i think that the quality is really good for all of the lipsticks i think that the prod the casing is excellent i love the tubes i really love the tubes i just wish that i could switch out the white one and get a different color you know so um but you know not everybody's gonna like every color anyway so um but i think that um it's really durable durable and it's a good product um and I just love the way that it applies. Like, I think if I had to choose something that was like my favorite thing about it, it would be the way that it applies to your lips because it just was so smooth and silky feeling, including the matte one, the matte lipstick, um, along with the creamy ones, but it still showed as a matte finish. So um, I'm really loving this lipstick though, like for real. Y'all see that highlight? Uh no but okay well i want to thank you guys for watching um and also if you like that white um lipstick on me um i i'm trying to tell you i really thought that it was going to be like a clear lipstick or something like that because i was like i know they didn't do this white and sent it to me i know they didn't you know what i'm saying but it is what it is like i said i'll probably be able to add that to something else maybe or like like i said use it as like an accent like a teeny tiny accent because that is you know what? Halloween is coming up. I could do something for Halloween with it, I think. You know, maybe add some glitter on it or something. That's what I'm thinking. But as much as I'm paying for this lipstick, um, I feel like I want to use it for more than just glitter. You know what I'm saying? So, um, but yeah, I want to thank Influencer um, for sending, well, for helping me get this. Um, my artist, Rouge, uh, yeah, um, at Makeup Forever, thank you. Um, at Makeup Forever Us, thank you. And yes, this is my artist, Rouge. Um, yeah i think that um like i said it's a good product so you can't go wrong and makeup forever makeup forever is banging anyway you know so thank y'all for the lipsticks and to all my subscribers to all my subscribers out there thank you guys for watching please make sure you like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys next time i know that this was supposed to be a makeup monday video so we're just going to use this as that okay i've been a little bit behind because we have been traveling traveling around a lot and i've been also doing a little bit of movie makeup um for some friends of mine so um i've been able to uh, practice a lot of things and you know i just feel like my skill is just going up and up and up so um once again Again, thank you guys for being patient with me thank you for watching and i'll see you guys next time talk to you later bye